There has been some uh, fear mongering about the earthquake near the Reykjavik. This is the Brennerstein Fjella uh, volcanic system, and people have called it earthquake swarms. And nothing like earthquake swarms can be seen in this chart and the depth also I'm showing here. Earthquake swarm was this January 14, 2024. Earthquakes picked up hundreds, near 1,000 almost earthquakes happened and then uh, at the depth we could see that this has risen earthquakes level to the near the ground and we had eruption this one in the Brennerstein uh, Fiela is actually nothing like that it is not an earthquake swarm at all so that is out of the way uh, earth inside is hot it's not molten but is rock and the uh, inner core is liquid iron of course the mantle is made of a rock which is solid, but it creeps under the heat. But because it's under pressure, it cannot uh, really melt. But it has convection cell through the creeping. And when it reaches the uh, surface, it actually can break apart the earth crust like eggshells. By thinning the earth crust, the mantle rises, uh, pressure reduced, uh, melts, forms magma, and the magma can erupt then. This is the reason Eurasian plate and North American plate are separating from each other. When we see the pattern of earthquakes created by this movement, we see that in this case, they're moving from the west toward the east. This is transferring movement from one volcanic system to another. In this case, from the Elfdorp volcanic system to the next one toward the east. And then after that, all of it uh, is transferred. Doesn't mean all erupt at the same time. I've not seen them erupt all at the same time. They erupt at different times. They don't form off a magma chamber. It's wrong, totally wrong to talk about magma chamber. This is a vein of the magma through the fracture zones, fault lines, rising to the surface, melting, forming lava, and erupting. Again, they erupt in different places along the fault lines. So one erupts then another, then another. They don't erupt at the same time, just a few weeks apart. It takes time for them. So this is also out of the way. We don't have magma chamber, and they don't happen at the same time or very close to each other. It takes some years. Uh, um, Brennerstein Fiala actually was one of the first volcanic systems we actually humans have been able to observe in the Iceland. We have been witnessing this. The earthquakes there we are seeing now at the depth of five to six kilometers to four and a half kilometer are just tectonic. They are due to the transfer of movement from the uh, Hagafell Schwarzenegger Grindavik system toward the east. They're accommodating the movement through the transmoon forms. What actually we have now is a Schwarzenegger actually has reached the threshold for the eruption, Schwarzenegger to Grindavik. And this is what we are missing now, if you pay attention to those deeper earthquakes in the Brennerstein Fiala, uh, which has nothing to do with eruption at this stage, at least in this year. Uh, this one in the Grindavik, Schwarzenegger, Blue Lagoon, and Hagafell and Sundunka may erupt soon probably in the next few weeks. That's the one to watch.